Hi, I'm Jordan, I'm 21, I'm from Stanford and I study at the University of Lincoln. Prior to being involved in the documentary, had you ever heard of the term sustainable fashion? Um, I hadn't before I was involved, but then as I've come on to the, the documentary, I wanted to learn more about it. So, before being involved, you had no idea what it meant? I had, I had no idea what it meant, no. Sustainable fashion to me means style that doesn't cost the earth. It's about people, it's about animals, and it's about the environment. It's just focusing on quality over quantity. We don't really need that extra white tea. But sustainable fashion can also mean sustainable materials, uh, sustainable sourcing, um, small batch, slow fashion, um, things that are, are made to last. Sustainability is a very personal thing. Your own balance of what you put first and what you prioritise according to every purchase or action that you make kind of depends on you and I think that's completely fine. We want everyone's approach to be unique to it. Where do you usually buy your clothes from? Um, I think these first two are from the Nike store, ASOS. ASOS is from Urban Outfitters, with a Fred Perry. North Face, JD Sports, I think. Tommy Jeans with my uh, Napa And this one still has the tag on it. This is eight quid for Parlay Quarter Zip, and this is another one of my favourites. I think I like shopping online just because it's easier, it's more accessible, and you can get the clothes delivered to your house. Whereas vintage shops, you'd have to go in and it would probably be more expensive. How do you usually dispose of your clothes? I don't really dispose of my clothes. I think at home I probably just have wardrobes full of clothes and I don't really tend to get rid of them. The most shocking thing was when I read that garment workers in LA are paid less than half of LA's minimum wage and they were working through quarantine, they were working through COVID with really no health and safety, no masks provided, no hand washing facilities. And the way that they're paid, it's called the piece rate, and they essentially get paid according to how much of a garment they finish. It's basically like the low percentage of like rates of payment to the people mm -hmm. and see how, how they are willing to pay so little I know they need, they need something to survive, you know? But why are they settling for such low value? I think that the most shocking thing that I always tell all of my friends is that fast fashion is a sort of trap. When you buy something from a, a fast fashion brand, you, you're buying something that is low quality. Okay, Jordan, while you were showing us the clothes you brought in today, we found some alternatives to your favorite sweatshirt all cheaper and much more sustainable options. There's, some, there's definitely some cheaper options in here. And would you now consider ditching fast fashion and taking a more sustainable approach to your wardrobe? Yeah, I think I would. As long as, as, long as it was the same sort of style that I originally go for and, and the sort of the clothes that I'm looking for, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't switch over. I always tell my friends to ask themselves, do you need it? Or do you just feel like you want to buy it just because of whatever, you know? It's important to think of the two ways that you can make change. And one is individual change that you make in your own life, like updating your own wardrobe and shopping sustainably. And the other is systemic change, which is things like petitions, movements, protests, writing to your MP, writing to a brand, that sort of thing. Um, have a look at what's in your wardrobe, go through everything, decide if there's things that you love and you want to wear, um, maybe that you haven't even seen in a while, um, and decide if there's things that you want to donate to a charity shop or to sell yourself online, um, and go from there. Mm -hmm.